For two decades, Marden Mamet has been the flag bearer for Singapore golf. With his innumerable achievements on the golf course, he established the Lion City on the golfing map of the world and became the pride of his nation. To honour his contribution, a proud Singaporean artist, Pepper C, painted his portrait before the ISPS Handa Singapore Classic 2012. Yeah, it's the first time on the tour. I never do this before on the, on the tour to get my portrait on there. Pepper carefully chose her colours in painting the portrait and successfully displayed Marden's energy and liveliness on the canvas. I've seen some of his photos on tournaments. Uh, he's usually in neon colours and because he's very tan, has this very sporty look. Right, so I try to bring that out, all the electric colours and bright colours. In 2004, Marden became the first Singaporean to win on the Asian Tour. He won the Royal Challenge Indian Open and two years later, Marden registered the biggest win of his career in the OSIM Singapore Masters, a European Tour co-sanctioned event. From this point, yellow became an essential component of his wardrobe. It comes from my wife. I mean, my wife just tell me that, hey, use yellow is your lucky color. In 2006, when I won my Singapore Masters, since then he says, you should use yellow on the final day. It's your lucky color. With career earnings of $1.8 million to date, Marden is one of the most successful golfers on the Asian tour. But this journey had its share of challenges too. Yeah, I work as a caddy and to caddy and to play one round every week on Monday to, to get a feel of the golf course. Can't afford to buy the club. I got to get the club from somebody that who don't not using not using it anymore. So it's like a baby, you know. You you you, are, you can't afford to buy a club. You got a club from somebody, so you will keep on cleaning it and polish it. You know, you just to love for the love of the game. Being from a humble background, Marden learned his golf lessons by just observing the professionals. I have to sit on the driver and see which pro is practicing, and then I got to see how the pro is swinging, then try to copy. You know. In 2011, Marden came close to winning his third Asian Tour title in the Panasonic Open India. But he had to settle for a tied second spot after losing a three-way playoff to Anuban Lahiri. Ten months later, he registered an emotional five-stroke win at the ICTSI Philippine Open 2012. And he followed that up with a victory in the PGM CCC Impian Masters, an Asian development tour event. When I arrived in the golf course on Tuesday to have a practice round, I have a very good feel of myself, I don't know why. It's just the feeling that says to me, we can win this tournament. After that feeling, and then I recall about my Singapore Masters win and then how I did it. Give me a lot of good memories and boost me a lot of confidence in that week. In his quest for victory at the age of 44, Marden took inspiration from watching the old professionals win titles on the PGA Tour. You watch on the TV, European tour, especially on the US tour. Most of the players after 40 can still win a tournament. I mean, all pros like Bunchu Rankit, Frankie Mimosa, they still can complete in, in the age of 50 and win tournament. So I think, why, why not me? For the age of 40 now, I mean, I, I prove myself that I can still win. Martin Long, you see this on TV? This is for you. Marden's wife, Naz, and family have been the foundation of his strength through their support. I think you got to have a, a right person on your side. On the side, at that, and to give you the right words to mo mo motivate you. I think that's, that's just very important. And uh, my wife has have encouraged me and push, pushing me a lot to, to practice and to do what, what I love to do, you know. So I think from there I, I take his, her advice and, and work hard on my, my game. After the Philippines, Marden carried his good form to the international final qualifying for the Open Championship and sealed a spot for his third appearance there. 
It's a big occasion. I mean, you get in in the four major events in the year. You know, the British Open is one of the major events for golf in the year. The atmosphere there is amazing, amazing. I mean, it's a thing that you can remember for, for your lifetime. So if I can make the cut and finish in the top 20, I'm, I'm very pleased with that result. High on confidence, Martin has no plans to retire in the near future, but he hopes to open a golf academy one day to contribute towards developing the game in Singapore. I love to have uh, my own golf academy in future if, if I can if, if I can get somebody to support me to, to, to do that, I love to do it. Martin is a true inspiration for those looking to paint their dreams and leave a lasting impression on the world.